Hey guys, welcome to episode six of the engine build for this 997. Back here with Buddy again in the garage. And if you recall from the last video, we got the rings on the pistons. Today in this video, we're gonna get those pistons into bank one. All right, so tell us what our first steps here are. Um, on every single piston, we wanna check that the indexing that we talked about before. The index. Um, second ring at the top top ring 180 degrees and no overlap on the yep right there on on the oils uh and the oil gaps where they're supposed to be lube everything uh this came with a piston assembly lubricant from ln uh lube everything side skirts rings all this has already been done by the way i'm just showing again uh lube the uh, what, what do we call this? Ring compressor. The ring compressor thingy. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put this into the ring compressor and show you how straightforward it should be. Do we have the caps oh. on the or the caps? The uh, what do you call these? Oh things? yeah, yeah, the caps, uh, the crack caps uh, separated. Um, the um, bearing. That's what I'm. That's where I'm looking. Okay, at. yeah. The bearing on there. And the oh bearing. yeah, we put the bearings on. Um, and uh, obviously, we didn't put any lubricant. That was. Error number one on the first uh, episode. So we installed them dry and we're gonna lubricate them. So now we have this uh, compressor. What we do is we take that second ring very carefully and sort of just wedge it in there and then take the first one. There it is. That, that's how easy uh, it is. Very good. Yep. The purpose of this thing is to sit on top of here and uh, it has a slow taper. It starts big and then it tapers down to the exact size of our cylinder. Yep. So that uh, the rings will get stuck inside the cylinder. So cylinder number one, how do you know? Well, there's a nice... Number one. Number one there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to lube out the cylinder walls. Nice and... And this is just for the walls because there's a different lubricant for the journals on the crankshaft. Use assembly lube for that. This is formulated apparently specifically for these walls, anti-corrosion and you know the first few cycles came from LN. I have I no idea what it is. Organic olive oil. Yeah, probably. Yeah, don't, you, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want to do another rebuild. That would which... explain all of the uh, white smoke that came out of the box transition. There you go. Started it for the first time. <laughs> it's Italian, eh? It looked like a nice little hibachi going on in. All right, so All right, this so is got our uh, driven assembly lube. So we're gonna get the journal all lubed up. That is mm -hmm. the journal part number one. The uh, All right, rod do you want to grab the chain? Yes. Here. I'll hold our chain for us, and so we well, can get so the rotate. bottom of the journal. Just made it uh, go all the way down to the bottom. So you can the other side of it. And you want it to be all the way facing down when you install the piston. That give you a maximum room for positioning the rod yes. properly. The last thing we're going to do is lubricate. And this is why I'm wearing gloves this time. A lot of lubricants. All right, so one final review. The marking that we had was top. Top? <laughs> yeah, I'm testing you. Yes, yes. And the top is where, if we think about this? The top is opposite the IMS. The IMS is on this side. Yeah, so this is the top so this with is the, the numbers. With the numbers. So the, the blue marking that we've had with the top goes here, I think, yeah. Oh yeah, you want to push this down to where the skirt, you can feel the skirt there you go. on the bottom, right? That's right. All right, and then we're going to check. There's one thing that you do not want to do. I may need a light, because I can't see anything here. It should be under this very first one here. 
Yeah. So it should be coming down. Oh yeah, I can see it from here. I'm gonna grab a light anyway. Okay. So we put this in sort of halfway, rotate it. Oh, it's nice and, see that? Yeah, it's a reference. It's rotated a little bit just because it's if the rings are caught or something, you'll be able to tell. Get the skirts out just a little. You feel the bottom of the piston. Feel the bottom of the piston. All right, got the skirts out. <laughs> Get it as low as it can go without the rings popping out. Yep. All right. And now because our blue, that gets our blue it. mark is over here. Oh yeah, On confirm. The comment side. This so, is the bottom of the engine. This is where the oil pan is. Serial be. number. Yep. Smaller yeah. valves. Exhaust valves on the bottom. Yep. Intake valves on the top. Got a lot of oil in there. All right. So there's little movement. Um, the benefit of pushing this down this much mm -hmm. is that the rod actually makes it. If you look at the, the adjacent one, the rod actually makes it through that opening, so it's uh -huh. sort of lined up. Yep. Um, now we have to make sure that the current is at its lowest point. There, right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the goop on. Look under here on the very far one. We can see that. And I'm gonna push this. Oh, something. So we make sure that the ring compressor is completely flat against the cylinder. And then we can introduce our new special tool. Yes. All right. All right. So this is a piston Here hammer. <laughs> I got it on Amazon. So it's a funky little shaped thing like this, so that it can reach down into here and not mar or hurt your uh, piston. It's essentially like a Oops. dead blow hammer. You just want to go tap back and back, side to side. And the reason for that is because if your rings try to go pass through the compressor and this and they're perfectly flat it's easier for them to catch if it's tilted a little bit it's easier for the rings to go through but look at this beautiful oh my gosh we put a piston in <laughs> that's pretty cool now we're going to be super duper careful here if you film from this side yeah you, you can, can see, it see you can see the um, rod coming through i don't know if they're going to have light let's see you see it I'm, I'm not too close to the uh, crank, right? I, I want to make sure that it sort of lines up with the crank. Yeah, you still got to get a couple inches. All right, now you're getting close. And, yep, still. Is it lying? Yep, still seems to be kind of hanging over it. All right, making contact now, yep. Smooth and contact? we're almost solid, yep. Oh, yeah, we, you heard uh, it, you heard it. We heard it. Wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. Nice. Now, when it's in here, you can see our blue mark here that is on the top. And again, this is the top of the engine with cylinder one. So for our cap now, we just need to take the cap and connect it. So for the cap, uh, a couple of things. We have to make sure that the blue mark on the cap is also in the same direction so there's our blue mark and uh oh just lubricant. like before we yeah we gotta lube the bolts especially lube so this is the assembly lube not the piston Lube the bearings, the assembly lube, and then these bolts uh, have, yeah, these bolts have special have lube, on, lube them. on them. Yeah, which yep, I already so put in. If you recall from our earlier video, when we put the bank two rods in. Oh, you can see it there. Yep, give you some light here. <laughs> so we're just gonna get those on hand tight. 
All right, so you can see the caps are nice and tight. So I just went and hand tightened this one and this one, went back and forth a few times. As one gets tight, uh, the other one will be loose. So just go back and forth. I got hand tightened all the way. So now with that in place, we can put the other two in from the top and then uh, we'll flip it over and torque them all down at the same time. All right, so we got two in. I'm gonna put this one in, have to rotate it so that uh, that is in the middle so we can move it. It's getting hard to rotate by hand just by grabbing that. So we're gonna put a couple of the bolts in it. So it's not super hard still, but uh, with those, we should be able to turn it pretty easily. Which way does the engine turn? You you know this because you've done clockwise. The, that oh, turns clockwise. This clockwise. Yep. It's still smooth. I, I don't feel like it's grabbing on anything. No. You probably just grab the bolts and turn them with your hand. You think so? Yeah. Uh, clockwise. Oh yeah, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, man. What you talking about? Oh, I forgot to lube the top part. Around again. Yep. One more turn. Oh, yep. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little excited. It's better than they fall off now. All right. All right, we got all three in. So now we are going to spin this guy. Spin the bottle. Back over. And nothing should fall out. <laughs> there goes a the piston. <laughs> All right, so we can see our caps down there. And Look now at that. we have to tighten them up and then all of our rods will be connected. All right, as per usual, I had to uh, pull out my old video to check and remember what we did. So the torque on these guys that we need to get these to 30 foot pounds and then 60 degrees. And you want to do it in stages. Uh, so we're going to do 20 foot pounds on each of these and then come back and do 30 foot pounds on each of them and then 60 degrees. All right, so we have 20 foot pounds going on here. Hopefully the block is easier to control now than it was when it was out of the hood. And then you go to 30. It's 300. <laughs> I'll break some bolts. And 60 degrees. I'll help us get the degrees. Oh, that's right. I remember. Mm -hmm. I remember now. It's been so long. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> you mark it All and right. you can tell uh, if that's moved. 60 degrees. 60 degrees. So this stand will probably uh, rotate on you. Ah! Beautiful. That looks like 60 degrees, right? Kind of, sort of. Is it? Yeah, no more than 45, less than 90. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Air and angle. Air and angle. <laughs> 60 on the dot. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so that is it for this video. We have them all installed now, so that is super exciting. In the next video, we're going to put the uh, front console on and put Bank 2's case on so that we can put the pistons for Bank 2 in.